Hey YouTube, welcome to the most amazing top 5 where I break down the world into brilliant top 5 lists. In today's video, I'm getting a little bit of help. Hey, what is up you guys? How's it going? I'm Landon from Landon Production, helping out Michael McCrone on his top 5 channel. So you guys gotta sit back, subscribe, and let us entertain you. Now we all know about the T-Rex from Jurassic Park, and we know about the Woolly Mammoth from Ice Age. For this list, we're gonna get a little more obscure. I wanna hear from you guys. What is your favorite dinosaur? Let me know in the comments down below. I love a pterodactyl, because I do an amazing impression. <laughs> Let me know your favorite dinosaur down below. Holy crap, what kind of dinosaur is that? I'm not sure if that was an actual thing. In the number five spot, we have a giant sea scorpion, also known as Jackalopterus renene. It lives in freshwater lakes and streams, unleashing all eight feet of its arthropodic range in unsuspecting victims. Though referred to as a sea scorpion, it was really more of an oversized lobster, in fact, which does nothing to increase its hideousness or its claws, which were the size of a grown man's head. Good thing to know, next time I go for a dip in good old Lake Ontario, I don't have to worry about these giant death lobsters. If you swim in Lake Ontario, you gotta worry about turning neon. Very true, very true. In the number four spot, we have Gigantopithecus. What a weird name. Bigfoot, Sasquatch, the Yeti, the Abominable Snowman, whatever you want to call it, these guys are all fiction. At least now they are. Once upon a time, they used to exist. About 100,000 years ago, an ape this big lived in South Asia. Gigantopithecus stood more than 10 feet tall and weighed over 1,200 pounds. And comparing this to something else, most gorillas, they weigh about 400 pounds. So this thing is quite big. Scientists are still wondering why on earth this guy went extinct, or did he? Perhaps that why they still got all those YouTube videos. Him walking around? Is he still here? Not in South Asia, he's like at a Burger King in Colorado. And in the number three spot, we have Titanoboa, which is the largest anaconda on record, stretching 27 feet. This thing, believe it or not, is taller than Michael McCrudden right here. Now that was the anaconda, this guy, Titanoboa, he would stretch out to 40 or 50 feet. He also weighed 2,500 pounds. What a pig. Holy crap, that is one big thing. It can crush you to death if it wanted to. So without dispute, this thing is the king of the jungle. Yeah, like even like superstars LL Cool J, he turned down a movie to like fight one because he'd just be like, this is scary. I want nothing to do with this. Ah! Why did I think of LL Cool J? Now we have Dino Suckus, who comes in at the number two spot. Now if you think dinosaurs are badass, this thing used to eat T-Rexes for breakfast. It grew in excess of 39 feet and weighed close to 10 tons. This thing was more or less just an oversized crocodile. It lived 73 million years ago and its favorite meal, yeah, giant lizards. Dinosaurs. Kind of like eating your buddy. Eh. You gotta eat. Like modern crocodiles, Dinosuchus would wait quietly in the water, watching for its prey and unexpectedly ah, just eats it. It would literally leap out of the water and drag its prey in. And it would use its long, dull teeth to just clamp on. Now they say crocodiles are some of the most advanced species to ever be on this planet because throughout the years of evolution, they've hardly changed. This guy, he went extinct because he ran out of big things to eat for breakfast. Like Stegosaurus. <laughs> Now, at the number one spot, we have finally made it. We're talking about Megalodon. Now, there are a few other names for this guy, but we're just going to go with the giant shark. Too much pronunciation in this video. I'm exhausted. Now, currently, the largest shark in the ocean is the whale shark, and although it sounds like it could do some serious damage, it's a real big wuss. All it eats is plankton. Megalodon, on the other hand, is totally out of control. So this thing probably lived around 1.5 to 28 million years ago. I mean, damn, that is a long time. That is like your great, 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 I'm gonna be here all day, grandparents. It was likely one of the largest and most powerful shark ever. It was probably around 65 feet long. In all seriousness though, this thing was such a badass, it could eat a sedan in one big butt. Damn. Damn. This is real life right now. All right, guys, that's all we have for you today. My name is Michael McCrudden. I'm Landon Dowsing. It was a whole lot of fun to be here. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hurry up, click that button, and subscribe. We're pumping out all sorts of great videos six days a week, and we are covering everything. I'm getting more help from Landon. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. Also, don't you have a most amazing top 10? Yeah, I think. He's got more subscribers.